What's going on there, strawberry face? What's going on, everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today I'm going to be doing a review on a device that I picked up for the purposes of the review. The SIG 365 4 battery box mod. Now, we know that I'm not a humongous fan of 4 battery mods. It just To me, it's just entirely too big for what I could get out of a single or a double battery. Now, if you have one of these tanks that are using 300 watts, 250 watts, obviously you're going to need something that can power it. However, I feel that using that kind of power, you're going to consume an immense amount of liquid and you're just going to, you might as well go outside and pull one out for the homies. That's how much liquid you're going to dump out. I know some people like it and some people don't even use it and they have that kind of a power, G320, 350, the RX 300, you have that much power, but it's at your fingertips, even though you're never gonna use it. And the same goes with this mod. Everybody knows who SIG is. They've been around for a hot minute, man. They, I can't even list how many mods they've came out with. I even remember the dripper. There's just, there's too much shit under this company's belt for me to list everything that they've made. What makes this device unique versus other four battery box mods is those of you that remember the GX350, when it first came out, you were able to use two batteries when it first came out. And there's even a pattern on the left-hand side of the battery door to show you that you could use two batteries. However, they removed that option. Don't know why, but then you have the G320. That's a three battery you could use too. That's good versatility if you don't have four batteries and you just want this mod for when you do get four batteries. Keep in mind that when you buy a device with four batteries, you're gonna wanna buy four batteries or have four batteries paired already. Don't mix and match. Don't be pulling no lifesaver jammies on your batteries. Blue equals blue raspberry, red equals cherry, green equals lime, yellow equals pineapple. Don't do that. You know, don't make your batteries look like fruit salad. Let's flip it, bring it down, and eat that shit. Snow Wolf 365 by SIG. There's the word again. Ha! <sighs> Asmodus, SIG, everybody wants to use Snow Wolf. Like, get it together. Someone pick it and run with it. On the back of this box, you have your little specification sheet tells you a little bit about the mod for 18650 or two be cool if they made three but then you really couldn't because it'd be an awkward serious connection 3.0 again we go back to high ohms don't know who vapes on three ohms but if you do why are you using a 350 watt box mod and if you do use this box mod with that kind of resistance and that kind of power, you're gonna get like seven months off of one charge. Come on, for real. Let's open up the box. No warnings on this. As you could tell, there's nothing on this box. Check that out on the bottom, look at that. Snowwolfvape.com. Here's your manual. I briefly went through this, didn't do anything crazy. There's not a lot of pages, but it's very small font text type. You got this lovely little hazard cone that comes with every single mod now. Little quality assurance check. You know what I think of the first look at this? The iJoy Maxo. Why do I feel the two of those are identical? Let me go grab one. Stand by. There's the two of them. This is the Maxo. So there is a little bit of difference. This one is more jagged. This is more rounded and oxagonal. Heck hectagonal like this they look identical okay the height is identical the width is obviously no it's about the same it's just one's pointier you can see the 510 sitting on these as I there's a lot of similarities between the two this does come with these cute little inlays if you're into rainbow bright my little pony care bears you're gonna love it because it's got sparkles rainbows and unicorns on it that's one of the options or you could use the carbon fiber inlay or the color of the mod there's a lot of different inlays for this the screen on the maxo is right here the screen on the sig right there obviously it's not turned on and you're probably wondering why you don't see anything because there's no friggin batteries in the mod that's why you don't see anything i don't know what these are i don't know if this is some type of grip some kind of tarmac to land your planes on or what the purpose of this is right here yeah i can't figure that out on the bottom here never use damaged or deformed battery very very good it's a nice little warning obviously i'm gonna take that off there's those things again those are holes for battery venting these are not holes these are slits check that out hello usb in there take that out on your diagram here 
which is, I, I hate to keep bringing this in, but I, I, I sort of have to. You see the diagram options? They're showing you what is in a set, what is in a pair. It's almost like promoting you to use two different sets of batteries. Please don't do that. Just, just please, please don't. For the purposes of this review, I'm only going to be using the two batteries. So if you use two batteries on this Jimmy Jam, you are going to get 220 watts, which is way more than enough for me. So I'm going to be using dual battery configuration for this. Now this does have a micro USB for charging. Another thing I do not recommend, take the batteries out, put them in a charger, be good to go. At least you know it's charging it safely. This is firmware upgradable. The button on the side kind of looks like a switch. It is not. There's no lights to be turned on with this. It does not go up and down. It only goes in and out. Pretty clicky. One thing I want to take note of is when you put two batteries in this, one is super friggin' floppy. Negative positive. So when you put the negative in, they're not individually done. So they kind of just jostle about. Find the spot that it's supposed to... Yep. See, that's a pain. So that's negative and then... Okay. Yep, and then positive here. Now the good thing is, is once you put a battery on the side, it doesn't, it kind of isolates the two of them to hold them in. Let's put it in. Latch is nice. SIG's typically known to make shitty latches where they fall apart after you put it in. It's gonna be off when you put the batteries in. One, two, three, four, five is gonna fire this Jimmy Jam up. Let's bring it in. Now, when I first put two batteries in this, I had a bit of a dilemma where I kept getting a battery imbalanced. The screen on this is sexy. I'm not gonna lie, I feel this looks really nice. I love the blend of colors, even though I just see one as a blanket. No, that's a joke. So the display is really nice. Shows resistance even though not things attack the voltage of the two batteries, uh, the amps it's outputting, the puff count, love that little circle wheel, one battery display. However, let's get into something. So to change your different power options, one, two, three, you're gonna be presented with power, whoop, power, stainless steel for stainless steel, TCR, coefficiency rating, nickel, titanium. When you click battery, that's gonna show you a graphical display of each battery and how they are equal. If they are unequal, you are gonna get a balanced and battery error. And then to upgrade, there's your version, shows you the version, one, two, three, and then there is an upgrade option. Now with upgrade, that is to upgrade the firmware. Don't hit yes if it's not connected to the computer unless you could telepathically upgrade this firmware with your brain, then there's no point of even getting to that option unless this is plugged in. Not sure if this is Mac compatible. Let's check out a couple more things. You hold the up and the fire. If you, you have to hold up and fire, I guess you could time it quick enough like that and then it'll unlock it. You're better off just holding it and pressing it down. Firing down, do nothing at all. The two of these is gonna set the resistance and that's if you're gonna be using temperature. There are ways to hard factory or set this. I believe the Fuchai and the 213 have the same option where you hold down negative while putting in a battery, it does a factory reset for the firmware of this device. And it goes, you can see how quick, that goes quick as shit. You see that? Look at that, it's gone. That is some speedy shit. I, man, I've never seen watts fly that quick. I don't know if that's increments of 60, but it's done. Let me put a tank on it, bring it back up to Give me final thoughts on the 365 by SIG. Not a bad looking device. Not, not, not bad at all. 25s are a go. No issues with the 25s. And for those of you 30 lovers out there, hello. Hello. 30 millimeter compatible with room for overhang. So 32s, you'd be okay with this. There you go. Talk to you like a baby. Oh, do you love that mod? Yes, you do. Who loves that mod? Oh, my. Anyway, so I'm going to put a Petri on this at 22. Looks a little peculiar, but whatever. Who cares? Let's see how bad this bitch ramps up. 68.5 watts right there. 68.5. Let's see how, see how this bad mamma jamma ramps it up. Keep in mind, I'm using the dual battery. How do I feel about this? First off, let me say that I'm not a big fan, I already mentioned that at the beginning, of quad batteries. Just not a big fan, I don't like them. It's just too big. The most peculiar thing is that a dual battery in this doesn't feel that bad. Yes, it's bulky. I mean, this thing is big. It's very similar to the Maxo. So if you already have a Maxo, this is gonna be similar to that. However, it's gonna, the display is gonna look that much better. And it is SIG, and SIG usually stands by their products. The Fuchai was a fluke, 
Okay, that was a that was the the Sig fluke. Two thirteen is what that was. Really excited about the dual battery option. Super pumped about that. Would I use this device? If I liked four battery mods, the answer is yes. How would I rate this on a zero to ten? Mm, it's tough. This is tough. I'm gonna say a 7.5, closer to an eight, so maybe a 7.8. I don't wanna get all crazy with these points and people are like, oh, it's an eight. It's a 7.5-ish on the higher end of 7.5, so round it up, you figure it out. Solid mod, it feels good in the hands, it's not overly heavy. To be honest with you, the Tesla 120, did a review for that jammy right there, was really heavy for two batteries. This isn't, it's, it's just big. I like the screen, I think the screen is cute. I know the 213 Plus does the same thing with the screen and the different colors and the different peripherals for it. There is no peripherals, I don't even know why I said that. I think I just wanted to use that word. Yeah, it doesn't come with any pencils or adapters or anything. Huh. Well, that made no sense. I'd recommend this device. Anybody looking for a four battery? Solid device. Very, very, very solid. If I liked four battery mods, I'd probably give this an 8.5. I just much prefer a single 26 or dual 18. And that's me keeping it real. And I want to thank you guys for watching, subscribing, liking, commenting. Pick up your local peripherals at your local convenience store. And I've kept it real. Have you? Jay Hazel.